Hi, my lenders. Hold on, I'm pulling up the chat here. Hi, pulling up the chat because I was kind of struggling the last time keeping up with the, the chat. So I decided that I wanted to do a live mukbang or whatever. <clears throat> can you guys let me know? Can you guys see the food okay? Oh, you know what? <sighs> Hold on. There we go. I'm always struggling with this. <laughs> hi, guys. Hi, Paula. Hi, Maria. Hi, Strawberry. Hi. Right, I think you guys can see the food all right. So, hold on. Let me, let me put this here so I can see. There we go. I have my phone here on the side so we can see the comment. Uh, all right, hold on. Oh my God, it's Nay. I'm so happy right now. Good looking, good, good. Hey, what's good, everybody? So, I decided that I wanted to do a live mukbang with you guys. And tonight I have salmon skin hand roll sushi, no rice. And then um, I got a 10 ounce ribeye steak. I have some raw salmon sashimi. I have a cooked grilled piece of salmon filet. And then, um, yeah, we got our sauces and stuff. So let's go ahead and get started because I am starving. Heavenly Father, please bless this food. Bless those that are going without. And I ask you to please heal the sick, people that are suffering right now in your precious name, Father. Once again, a million thank yous for providing. And thank you in your precious name, I pray. Amen. All right. How's everyone doing? Hi, Julia, Brittany, Raquel Moreno, uh, Caitlin, Strawberry Shortcake, Amanda, Sylvia Diaz, Kayla Pierce, Nisa E. Hey, my love. Angela Ortiz. Amen. Yes. Love from Malaysia. Hi. Oh, my God. You guys, I don't have a fork and a knife for my steak. Hold on. Oh, wait. I got one in here. Yes, but I do not have a cutting knife. One second, y'all. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Everybody give me a napkin. So what's everyone having for dinner? Let me know. What did you guys have for dinner? Did anybody have steak or sushi? Okay. Trace Johnson, love you too. Eat like a savage and just bite it. Mm, yes, Brittany T. All right, I'm going to do that just for you, for your request. I'm going to do a savage bite out of this steak. I never thought of doing that, but that sounds fun. You know me, I love savage eating. I love to eat like an animal because I am an animal. <laughs> All right, but the first thing we're going to start with is this salmon sashimi. Pizza. Okay, Jocelyn had pizza, made stuffed chicken, stuffed mozzarella, red peppers, and ooh, basil. Mmm. It's breakfast for me here, for Faz AZ. My five year old loves you. Aw, Angie. I had pot roast with mashed potatoes. Ah, oh, Pepsi Cola. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Is my tiffers in here? I see people saying hi, Diane. I don't see my stiffy. Oh, there we go. I want that steak though. Hi, my stiffers. Hi, Brianna. Hi, my Brittany. All right. Y'all, I'm not purposely or intentionally ignoring you guys. When I'm taking my bites and eating, I'm not really looking at the comments, so I do apologize in advance. Okay. Hold up. Okay, so this is raw salmon sashimi dipped in wasabi soy sauce and um, sriracha. Hmm. There is just something about raw salmon that I am so in love with. It's the texture, it's the flavor, it's the temperature. It's the creaminess. Mm. I can never tire 
of raw salmon sashimi. Let me know, do you guys like raw salmon sashimi? We had burgers and fried potatoes and Indian onions, pork and beans. Ooh, Bev Montgomery, that sounds good. Now you get no worries. I had steak tonight with big baked potato with butter, sour cream. Oh, I am a sucker for potatoes anyway. Mm. No, I love salmon sashimi. No, Sarah. It's so good with extra wasabi. It burns. Yes. I'm actually using the wasabi the restaurant gave me tonight, which is so mild in comparison to the extra hot one I have in the fridge. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. And I have me a diet root beer. Uh, all right, before I get into that steak, now I gotta do a salmon skin hand roll. It is like a little cone wrapped, it's seaweed wrapped, um, crispy salmon skin. And you see that carrot in there? It's pickled Japanese carrot, which is called gobo. It has um, fish flakes, julienne cucumbers, and then it has a little leaf in here. I believe it's a sesame seed leaf so good let me know if you guys have had salmon skin hand rolls or salmon skin roll period before i take this bite come on slam hi my kk love you too rosalinda hi big guy video can you say hi who said that oh liliana hi liliana j raw salmon and tuna are good so good with wasabi i agree all right let's go Mmm. Mmm. Wow. There is just something about crispy salmon skin that almost takes on like a bacon flavor. I'm not even lying. There's something about it. It just, it really comes off as like bacony. It's not fishy at all. Oh, look at that. Mm. Look at all that fat. It's dripping from the salmon. That's omega-3 fatty acids. Oh, man. Mm. Wow. Out of this world good. With that steak, I love <laughs> Tiffy, you know I gotta taste everything around me first before I get to the main course. I always love to save the best for last. Ah, uh, Jamie Thompson. Thomason, thank you. Welcome to the BGA crew. I want to take this time before I get into the steak to thank all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for taking a chance on me. And to all my originals, thank you for putting up with me. Jamie, yes, when I first found him, me too, especially when he eats some oysters. Aw, you guys are too sweet. Thank you. All right, so here we go. Oh, let's dip it in this steak sauce. Are you guys ready? No, we got 277 people in here and only 77 likes. No, ma'am. I'm not going to get into that savagely. <laughs> Y'all got to hit that like button. If you don't know how to hit the like button, make sure you hit the little X at the top of this chat. It'll uh, go away and you can hit the like button. Then hit that live chat button back and it'll bring you back into the little live. I mean, chat. Um, wait, wait. 
Oh my God, you are too much. All right, here we go. All right, we're at 100 and let's get you 200 so I can take this bite like a monster. You know what, I'm gonna use my hands. Why am I trying to be all fancy dancy? My hands are clean. Oh man, yes. Not a little princess over here. We're at 184, come on, let's get to 200 likes. This steak is not gonna last, yo. All right, I feel like 186 is good, let's go. Mm. Oh my God. Juicy. Wow. Ah! I seasoned this bad boy so good. Mmm. Yo, that is pepper, salt, garlic, and onion powder. That is all. Oh my God. Oh, y'all take this bite right here. Oh. Mm. Mm. oh my God, now let's get into the salmon. Grilled salmon. Oh. Perfectly cooked, absolutely. Hi Ariana Bell and the Bell family. Mm. Wow. This is cooked salmon right here. Mm. Is my mom in here? I, I see people saying, hi, my dove. Mm. Grilled salmon is so good. Oh, man. You're in my life? <laughs> hi, mama dove. Everybody, Mama Appetite's in the live chat. Say hello to Mama. Mm. Oh, man. Oh. I'm wondering, what should I do next? Should I continue eating the steak or should I dig into my salmon skin hand roll? Let me see, you guys vote. What should I do? The salmon skin hand roll or the continue eating the steak? 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 All right. I'll save that for last then. <clears throat> Look at this juice. Oh, man. <sighs> mm. Mm. Oh. Oh. My God, ribeye is my favorite. Mm. There is nothing like a ribeye. Mm. What? No knife and fork here. This is savage eating. Mm. I'm pretending I'm at the Renaissance Fair. Mm. Oh man. Mm. So tender and juicy. Mm. Oh my gosh. Well, there's nothing like a good old steak. Yes, get primal with it. Yeah. What? 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 <laughs> oh my god. Mm. That was a super fatty piece. Oh, that's my favorite, the fat. Mm. Wow. Look at 
I don't know if you can see how moist and soft. Oh man. Mm. Wow. Mm. Tony! <laughs> Oh my God, it, yes, it is so good, Stephanie Stephanie Molina. Mm -hmm. mm. My fave. Fatty part are good, yes. Put some red heart if you love the fatty part of this steak. Put some red hearts. And that is my favorite part of a steak. When I go to the store, and I'm looking for, for steak, I make sure to pick the fattiest looking one. Fat is where the flavor is. Yes, da uh, Danielle Queen. Yes, absolutely. freaking -lutely. Yes, wow, there's a lot of you that like the fat part. Everyone in my family hates the fat part. I'm always the one like, oh, can I have your fat? Or give me your, everyone knows to give me their fat. Dude, there's a lot of you that love the fat on a steak. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my goodness. Especially when it's crispy. Yes, Paula M. Girl, I love to, when I'm cooking my steak low key, I like to get it and turn it on its side and let it like crisp. Oh. Why did I say that? Like that was like a forbidden thing to do. Like, oh my God. I feel so naughty when I eat the fat. Oh my god. <laughs> mm hmm. Your burp is so funny. Oh my god. You guys know I do not burp in my mukbangs, I edit them out. Um, but on my live streams, I know a lot of people don't like burps, so I can't help it on my live streams. I'm sorry. Mmm. I hate the fat part. What? Anna Carrera, no! I feel naughty when I eat fat. <laughs> Daisy. <laughs> mm. Mm. Crispy on all the edges. Yes, homie. Uh, salmon with sauteed peppers and onions and potatoes. Yes. The fat with the crispy brown caramelized edges is everything. Yes. Mm. This was finger looking good. And I don't normally like to lick my fingers. I've, I sometimes that I think that's gross, but tonight, <sighs> fingers were getting licked. All right, now we're doing the salmon skin hand roll. I've already described what's in it: crispy salmon skin, pickled Japanese carrots, gobo, and. Uh, fish flakes and julian cucumber and then a sesame seed leaf all right mm. look at all that salmon i get mine with no rice mm. look at all that salmon oh pork chop fat too oh good pork belly mm. Oh, man. Vanessa 2020, hey. I squeeze lemon on my... Oh, I should have thought of that. If you see the fat on a steak, you know it's good. Yeah. <laughs> yup. Dude, and I stay steady buying my steaks from Walmart. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I have always been under the impression that Walmart sold very low quality meat. You know, being Walmart and all. And I don't know what got into me one day. I did a, a grocery pickup order to go, you know, you do it online and then you go to the store, pick it up and they pack it in your trunk. And anyway, I went to go pick up my order, come home and cook my steak. It was a ribeye steak for like 12 bucks. Super thick. It was like about an inch and a half to almost two inches thick. 
Let me tell you, I was hooked ever since, but it's the black box steaks. It's not the steaks that you get with the yellow styrofoam on the bottom. No, this one's a black styrofoam. It's their premium Angus steaks. My goodness, I don't buy my steaks from anywhere else, and I used to buy them from Costco. So now, Walmart is the only place I get them from. So kudos to Walmart. I love your character. You have such a great personality. Oh, thank you, SL. Mmm. Mmm, look at all that juice. Well, wow. mm. I love my Asian fish markets. Absolutely love them. That's where I get most of my seafood. Absolutely. Yep. Asian fish markets, you will find the freshest, most delicious fish, most of them. Most freshest and delicious seafood. Yes, H Mart. But see, I'll tell you this. H Mart is so delicious, high quality. But their price tag goes along to match it. I go to another store. It's like more of like a family-owned Asian market. It's super big here in, in Glendale, Arizona. It is called Lily's International Market. Oriental. Lily's International Oriental Market. Or something like that. And, um... They have the same type of quality, Korean barbecue stuff, seafood, very good quality, but their prices are almost half of what H Mart charges. So it's all up to you. Mm. Mm. Ruby O, oh. I'm keeping this live up. So for those of you that want to be on the live right now, like real time, go ahead and stay here. Don't worry about rewinding because I'm going to leave the live up. So you can always, once the video, once I'm done, you can go back and watch it from the beginning. Mm. It's okay, Candice. I'm leaving the live up so you guys can watch it when after I'm done with the live. It'll be posted, and you guys can watch it from the beginning. Mmm. All right. Now let's wash everything down with a diet squirt. You know, um, I was like, what the heck? Because I, I don't know if you guys watch her, but uh, Wyoming Blessed with Tish. I am so obsessed with watching her mukbang. She does... Uh, keto mukbangs. Every single mukbang is keto mukbang. And she has lost a total of 46 pounds, I believe. So super inspirational. You guys should check her out if you haven't. But anyway, uh, I was watching a video today. And she was saying that she ended up trying diet squirt. And it didn't sit well with her stomach. It got her really sick. I was like, what? Yo, Diet Squirt is like my number one favorite, um, like, grapefruit soda. <sighs> ¿Qué onda, BJ Crew? What's up, Tio Wally? I love Squirt too. Yes. Y con una poquita tequilita. Jocelyn, hacer una paloma. Good night, Ariana Bell. Yes, I love... You take this. Con una tequilita. And make you a paloma. Squeeze a little bit of fresh lime and a little bit of fresh grapefruit. Honey, that's the perfect mixed drink. I'm late. My apologies, babe. Love you. No worries, Crystal. I'm going to leave the live up, babe, so you can watch it from the beginning when I'm done. I have been able... Oh, I haven't been able to find Diet Squirt here. Squirt is my favorite, but I don't drink regular soda. See, I'm the same. I do not drink regular soda. Uh, I don't know what I would do if I couldn't find it. Can't get Diet Squirt in Tennessee. What? Jamie. Oh, my God. That's kind of like what was happening with uh, another friend of mine. Um, Jen is always hungry. She went like four or five months without finding Cherry Coca-Cola. Cherry Coca-Cola Zero. 
It was in none of the stores. I think she was able to find it now, but it was gone for like five or six months. You know what's like that right now with me? Diet Sprite. I cannot find a 12 ounce, I mean a 12 pack of Diet Sprite. If you, if you told me I'll give you a million dollars to find it, I cannot find it. I have went to at least five different stores because sometimes I like to drink de uh, uncaffeinated sodas or like clear sodas and Diet Sprite is one of my faves. I cannot find it anywhere at all. And it's been like six months and I still can't find it. I'm a, okay, test tomorrow. All right, Pax. Love me some Nay. Love you too. Oh, you know what, Sarah? Sarah something. I used to love Diet Coke, but I don't know, my, my taste buds absolutely changed like in recent years because I used to drink Diet Coke all the time. And now I find it so bitter. I don't know what it is. I can't, unless I like fill it up like at a restaurant with a big cup of ice and I squirt like maybe a lemon wedge or two in it, then I, it's drinkable to me. But by itself, I can't do it anymore. And I used to love it. Or the Diet Cherry 7 Oh my God, I have that in my little cooler. I have the Diet. Well, let me tell you what I got. I got Diet Right, Diet A&W Cream Soda, Diet A&W Root Beer, Diet Ginger Ale Canada Dry, Diet Squirt, Diet Sunkissed Orange. Yeah. And then Gatorade Zero. But... Those are all my favorite sodas. <clears throat> Obviously, minus the Sprite Zero. I hate when soda is flat, Milo. Absolutely hate it. Ugh. I have been at some restaurants before where they bring me a flat Diet Coke or whatever, Diet Pepsi. And I'm like, I'm, I hate to complain. I would just sometimes just drink it. But it's so... It grosses me out so bad. That'll be like, you know, it's a little flat. Can I get another one, please? I'm so sorry to bother you. Da, 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 da. And they'll bring it to me. And if it's flat again, I'm like, oh my God, it's the actual machine. So I end up telling the, the waitress always like, oh, you know, the second one's flat too. Can I just exchange it for a nice tea? I'm so sorry. I don't mean to be a pest. But I just cannot, under no circumstances, drink flat soda. <sighs> so good. Well, honestly, I ate very light today. I had um, half of an omelet. Well, I made a, a whole omelet and I ate half of it. And half of a low-carb bagel from Chompies with one tablespoon of cream cheese. And then for lunch, that was breakfast. And for lunch, oh, my omelet had mushrooms and onions. And then I sprinkled a little bit of low-fat cheese on top. And then for lunch, I had a ratio roasted almond cinnamon granola bar. It's a keto granola bar, y'all. It only has two grams of carbs, one gram of sugar. So I had that for lunch. And because I knew what I was going to eat tonight. So I left most of my calories for dinner. And let me tell you, I'm so satisfied. So happy. Uh, I love coconut. You know what I do too, but it has so much sugar. Vanilla. You know what? I've never tried vanilla Coke, but that sounds good with vanilla Crown Royal. Ooh, so elegant. No diet cherry 7-up sold in Hawaii. What? You have got to be kidding me. And Hawaii has Safeway out there. I used to work for Safeway's cor corporate office, the grocery delivery department. And um, I remember the number one selling product from our, sto our Safeway store in Hawaii was our spam. We, here in the States, a store can get away with an order of like 100 cans of spam for a week, you know, a couple, a week or half a week. When in Hawaii, one store, one shipment would have to be like 800 cans of spam for one week. And um, that's because Ho Hawaiians eat a lot of spam. You know, it's a staple in the, every household. So I learned that. They taught us that in training. <clears throat> Safeway equals cute guys. <laughs> oh my God. My fave keto bar is the one you had in Diane's vlog. Oh, which one did I have? Refresh my memory, Linders. Linders. 
Last year for Xmas, they had cinnamon Coke. It was fine. What? Dude, I picture that being kind of like a, like a Dr. Pepper in a way. I'm a new subscriber. I love your channel. Thank you, Jennifer Leah. Welcome. Welcome to the BGA crew. I am so happy to have you be a part of this family. So, yes, everyone that's new, that's a new subscriber, I welcome you with open arms. Thank you so much for taking a chance on me and, excuse me, and watching my content. I truly am so grateful and thank you so much. Fries and burritos. Oh, I actually get French fries in my burritos. When I get a green chili burrito, I tell them add French fries and cheese in it. Oh, so good. Hubby Sergio says, hi, babe. Hi, Rosalinda Lopez. Sorry. Rosalind Rosalinda Lopez and her hubby Sergio. Hey, guys. Shout out to you. I miss it. I was too busy watching your corn video. <laughs> I am Ly Laya. Um, don't worry. I'm going to keep this live up. So if anyone missed this live, I'm going to leave it up so you can definitely come back and watch it from the beginning. Because you don't want to miss this mukbang. You don't want to miss it. It was amazing. Pineapple Pepsi. What? Pineapple Pepsi? Dude, pineapple is my favorite and what? Oh my God, I've never heard of such a thing. I know, right, Ashley Matson? I'm like, pineapple Pepsi, dude, I would so try that. That sounds awesome. Wh yeah, I was not impressed with the cranberry sprite. Either. Oh yeah, the cranberry sprite, trash. Absolutely trash. You know what? which one I liked? And they no longer make it, and I made such a huss and fuss about the uh, Sierra Mist Cranberry. They would bring it out every year from October to December. For three months, you could find Sierra Mist Cranberry at every store, and it was the best cranberry soda I have ever had. So when they took it away a couple years ago, I ended up calling their corporate office and complained. And I don't ever call corporates and complain for nothing. But I was like, I need this soda. You don't understand. Why is it removed? Like, where can I petition? I need it back. I love the cranberry spray. I, I don't know. It just does not taste the same as the Sierra Mist Cranberry. That one, top notch. It almost tasted like, like a gummy bear or like a... I don't know, like a starburst kind of flavor. I don't know. That soda was so enjoyable. I got fangirls. Thanks for the shout out, Nate. Perfect birthday gift for me. Oh, happy birthday, Ashley Matson. Happy birthday, my love. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and all of your birthday wishes come true. Elvira Cavazos. Don't worry, my love. I'm going to keep this live up so you can definitely watch from the beginning, once I'm done. <laughs> I've never had any vanilla soda. I mean, other than, you know, a cream soda, but. Like Chili's Baby Back Ribs. Oh my God, I used to love Chili's. Chili's Ribeye and Chili's Baby Back Ribs, the dry rub. Those were good. I'm new here and I'm definitely subscribing. Oh, Alicia, sweetheart. Thank you so much, my love. Mwah, thank you guys so much. If you guys are watching and you haven't yet decided if you want to subscribe or not, I want to invite you to take a chance on me. I promise I will try my best not to disappoint with my content. If you uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and see what I'm all about, make sure to ring that notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. <clears throat> I It tasted like plastic, completely plastic, plastic. <laughs> Milo! <laughs> Take care now. Okay, Elo. That sounds good. I love Blood Orange. Oh, me too. I think they have one of those like ice sodas in the Blood Orange flavor. <clears throat> is it a bit hard to find? It is a bit hard to find, but worth it if you can find it. Which one, Daniil? 
Hey love, I missed the video, but I'm going to watch it over. I came at the end. Oh, don't worry, Pamela. Go ahead and, you know, uh, join us here for the rest of this live. I'm only going to stay on maybe five more minutes. Um, and then you guys can definitely go and watch it from the beginning. Love you, sweetie. Love you too, Esther, Vera. Mwah. Hi, my mama Jujubee. Hi, my boo-boo. I, mean, I uh, Mango Fanta. Is, I've never had Mango Fanta. What? Dude, I'm learning of all these different sodas that we don't have access to. When are you live mukbangs? Honestly, my live mukbangs are very sporadic. Sometimes I'll do one or two a week. Sometimes I won't do any. So it's just pretty pretty sporadic. You won't regret the subscription. BGA keeps it 100. Oh, what the streets created. Thank you so much, homie. I really appreciate that. It means a lot to me. Ashley, isn't he amazing? He's the only one I watch and shouts out in comments. Oh, you guys are going to make me blush. You guys are so sweet. Hold on, what did Ashley say? Uh, I'm assuming it was from the previous comment. Oh, literally died right now. Oh. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Okay. The Zesty Blood Orange, I think I got it, the brand, the brand wrong. It's perhaps, it perhaps was Coke. You know what? Diet Coke came out with a line of different flavored sodas, like a zesty cherry, a blueberry one. Those were actually pretty good. They were like little skinny, like petite tall cans. Those were actually pretty fire for Diet Coke. Because like I said, I don't really, I don't care too much for uh, <clears throat> regular Diet Coke. But that line of flavored Diet Cokes were amazing. Tiger. You all right? <laughs> My dog. I love how thin your face looks. You looking handsome or whatever. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I actually put on like two pounds um, during the holidays. So I'm working extra hard this week. That's why I did all low carb because I'm like, I got to get these. And obviously it's not two pounds that I've gained because uh, y'all know my little <clears throat> situation back there. In my tum tum. <clears throat> it's a little backed up, let's just say. So <laughs> I know, I know, TMI, TMI. But um, y'all know I keep it real. I don't be I don't be hiding what I gotta say. So I have I have a big mouth. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's my current situation. So I know I'm just backed up a little bit. <laughs> uh, I wanna see another one. You better make another one. Now just do that one, girl, and feel sad. What? Then you can cut them and mix them. Different Diet Coke flavors together. You know what I like when those um, soft drink machines have the, like you could add Coke, Coke. You can add to like your Coke or whatever. You can add vanilla, cherry, orange, strawberry, lemon, lime, the little like sugar-free syrups. I like that. What kind of dogs do you have? Oh my God, they're Chihuahuas. So they're half Chihuahuas, half Winnie dogs. They are, I love them to death, but they are a nightmare. If any of you guys have heard anything about Chihuahuas, they are called land sharks because that is exactly what they are. They are ankle biters, except one of my dogs. He's like, he, whoa, two of them. They're animals, like crazy. They don't bite ankles. They bite anywhere and everywhere. So, hey from New Zealand. Hi, much love all the way to New Zealand. I miss it. First time seeing you. Keeping it real is the best. Thank you, Tana, excuse me, Tanya Hoyt. Welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I like soda a little flat wet. <coughs> Linders, the blasphemy. No, you did not just say that. Lindy B said I like soda a little flat. Lindy, we about to fight. Hold up. Hold my earrings. Hold up, girl. Hold up. I'm about to pick up my hair in a bun. Hold up. We about to fight. We about to scrap. You better put them hands up, Lindy, because I'm coming, girl. What? What? Mm. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, my God. KK2? 
Oh yeah, we jumping KK. What KK? What? What? Oh yeah, KK, you like to sort of flat? Hold up. Hold up. Put him up. <laughs> oh my God. Y'all ain't right. Y'all are not correct. No ma'ams. No ma'ams. Y'all ain't correct. I got Lindy's back. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? <laughs> KK and Lindy gonna jump me. I better quit. Wait, let me sanitize. <laughs> hold on, Chanel. Hold on. Let me put on my mask real quick. Let me sanitize. <laughs> oh my God. I freaking love you guys. Uh, not flat, flat. Okay. I love your laugh. Oh my God. Not my laugh. <laughs> uh, just take a little base out the soda. Do your hair still blue boo yeah it is eddie marie mm -hmm. exactly esther vera yuck flat my mom's the same way Ooh, i lift my fingers and then touch my ear i gotta wash my hands sorry yuck ah uh, my mom's the same way she cannot do flat soda whatsoever eat some oatmeal nay you will be good oh really is that good to make you current oh i didn't know that i don't know what else to do Oh, I don't know what else to do. It's I'm I'm tired of it. <laughs> I want to feel normal. <laughs> you go in to fight six feet away. Exactly. Social distance. Run up, do one little dink, and then run six feet back. Do do do. <laughs> but laughing and having this kind of audience makes people happy. Aw, thank you. That's me. I love to laugh. I love to laugh. No, not flat, but not so carbonated. It burns my throat. Oh, no, honey. I need that. Ah, I need my throat to feel like I just swallowed lava. Literally lava. That's what I like when I drink my soda. Drink lots of water and eat fiber like Metamucil crackers. You know what? I have a bottle of sugar-free, I mean, a, a jug of sugar-free Metamucil. I just, I'm so scared to take it because I don't know if, um, if it's going to constipate me more. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I don't know. I've heard fiber tends to like back you up more or make things worse. So I don't know. Good evening. Who said good evening? <gasps> oh, Melody M. Hi, Melody. Drink some chicken broth as hot as you can stand it. And it will help things move. Really? You know what? I'm going to do that because I am at my wit's end. I am so desperate that I don't know what else to do. Um, that I'm willing to try anything. Yeah, my mom told me that stool softeners as well. And I'm so sorry for being so blunt, you guys. But, you know, I keep it real. No fakeness over here. I'm not going to pretend to be something that I'm not. I'm an open book. I share everything, whether it's gross or not. That's just the person that I am. So... <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to offend anyone with the type of conversation or anything, but um, yeah. When you got to go, you got to go. And lately, I haven't been able to go, okay? I do, I eat a lot of vegetables. I eat salad, I eat vegetables every single day. Um, I don't, I just, I don't know. I think it's the high protein. Still, so I'm can pack you up to, oh, really? See? Don't play with me. Uh-uh. My kids mowed down on fiber one lemon bars and it took... <laughs> and it taught them a... <laughs> oh, my God. I could picture... Oh, oh, mommy, mommy. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, that is freaking hilarious. I just had a total visual of like, ah, ah, you know, little kids, how they, you know, freak out and stuff. <laughs> oh, my God. That is so funny. <laughs> prune juice is good, too. Yeah, but prune juice has so much sugar, it's not even funny. Uh, it's safe during pregnancy. It can back you up if you don't drink lots of water with it, too. Also, movement and walking will stimulate bowel movement. Stool softeners and other 
can give you the rents. Really? Okay. You know what? I definitely need to start walking again. I've taken like a week and a half off of walking and I know I shouldn't have, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, definitely get back on my routine. I was working out three days out of the week. So I gotta get back on track. <laughs> oh, man, I was left the whole time, I bet. That is hilarious. Oh yeah, oh yeah? You guys wanna eat uh, Fiber One Lemon Bars? Here you go, here you go, learn your lesson, have at it. Take the whole box. <laughs> oh my God, do squats. Girl, you want me to break my back? My ankles, my knee dislocate my hip? Girl, I'm too big to be doing no squats. Wait, what is a squat? A squat is when you do those things like this, right? Or is it like that? I don't, I don't know what the heck a squat is. But I just picture me breaking my back. I had a cappuccino. Ooh, I wish I could drink coffee, but... Wow, grapefruit soda. I like grapefruit. Yeah, me too. Yes, protein, red meat, and seafood have lots of iron, and iron can constipate you. What? See, then that's my issue, because I have a ton of seafood and, and meat daily. Not a ton, but enough, you know? When we were <clears throat> little, 25 of us grandkids, if you were backed up, she would put soap in your in your booty. Wait, what? Oh my gosh. Just take... <laughs> this fight times... Desperate times called desperate imaginations. <laughs> Girl, I'm not trying to be dead on the toilet. No ma'ams. <laughs> I'm having Korean barbecue at home. Oh, that sounds so good. It's okay, you don't need your back and neck in 2020, right? My neck. I don't need it. Nope, you're correct. Oh my goodness. Try a detox tea and tea section at Walmart. Oh, yeah. Somebody else was telling me that there's... It's called El Té el te de la Bailarina. It's called the Ballerina's Tea. And it's supposedly so potent that it... Like, people take these before surgeries. That tea. Uh, or people that are trying to do, to lose weight quickly. They, they take that El Té de la Bailarina. It's like a, a green tea. Ginger tea. When you wake up and before you go to bed, pour eight ounces of water and one tablespoon of raw unfiltered ap apple cider vinegar. I have been doing it re religiously for three years and it helps so much. You know what? And I have the big king size bottle of um, Bragg's apple cider vinegar with mother. So I'm going to do that right now, actually. I'm definitely going to do that. You're right. Hi, Dallas Cowboys. Hi, Mother. Hi, Nate. Me and sis are just leaving Mesa from visiting your sis April. Are you serious? Aw, how nice. I used it never again. Really, Valerie? Was it that bad? Oh, my goodness. The That's the Chinese tea, the ballerina killer. Yes. Yeah, they sell it at the Asian markets and at the dollar store, too. But in, it, it has it in Spanish also. Um, I have seen it as called Te de la Bailarina. And it's a green box. And it has like a little silhouette of a ballerina. Hi, Haley Townsley. Greetings from Brazil. Hello. Obrigado. Miralax. Oh, see, that's what I bought not too long ago, Miralax. It did work. But I need something more on a like daily basis. You know what I mean? A touch of baby oil on... <laughs> uh, oh my God. Because ballerinas need to be skinny? I'm assuming so. <laughs> uh, just hold your nose so you don't taste it and wash it down with your diet drink. You know what? I actually don't mind apple cider vinegar. I used to, I used to take spoonfuls of it and let it burn. You know, I love that burning sensation. But I actually used to take spoon two shots a day, or I mean two tablespoons a day of um, apple cider vinegar. So I, I enjoy sour things. So I don't whenever I hear people say like, oh, it's so gross or it's so this, 
Like my mouth's salivating already. I, I love that flavor. <clears throat> uh, apple cider vinegar gummies. Yeah, that's what Diane takes. She says that they, they help her a lot. Nate, the sugar-free gummies from Winco. They have sugar. You know what? I've been looking for sugar-free gummies forever, KK. And I cannot find them anywhere. You, we, we have a Winco here. I'm definitely going to go look at Winco. Greetings from South Africa. Hey, RJ. Hi, how are you? Greeting. <clears throat> Excuse me. Greetings all the way to Africa. Love your channel. You're the best. Thank you, Vitar. I have a huge pimple on my nose right now and I hate it. You know what? Somebody told me to put toothpaste on my, on my blemish and uh, like overnight. Wash the skin good and then put a little dab of, of uh, toothpaste and by the morning, it'll dry it out. So I didn't believe them. I was like, toothpaste? Like, who does that? But anyway, I ended up doing it, and it actually worked. It literally sucked everything out of that pimple. And it was, like, minimized by, like, 80% the, mor the next morning. Magnesium citrate. I know, but that hurts so bad, Tanya. You backed up, like... Yeah. Yeah, it was all freaking laughs. Loved it. Aw, I wish I could have been there, Dallas. It's like malt vinegar to me. Yeah, apple cider vinegar is bomb. I've never had castor oil, Rubio. Hey, Rubio. Did you lick the chopsticks dry? <laughs> I didn't, but I should have. <laughs> Thank you. I will have to try that. Of course. Use apple cider vinegar on your pimple. Better than toothpaste, I swear. Oh, really? Dang, is there anything apple cider vinegar is not good at? Or good for? It has so many beneficial properties. Yes, yeah, toothpaste on pimples work. Or Vicks. Oh, never heard of Vicks. But I feel like Vicks, because it has petroleum jelly, it has mixed with it. I feel like that would clog my... I have sensitive skin with like oily and greasy stuff. So I feel like Vicks would probably make mine worse. But I don't know. That's just an assumption of mine. No, Cookie. Y'all do not listen to Cookie. Oh, my God. No. Uh, it's good. Oh, my God. Rubio. I mean, Rubio. Milo. Toothpaste that works, I know. Milo. Hot lava on the you-know-what. Vix works as that. Oh, my God. You crazy boy. You are crazy. I feel sorry for your partner. No, ma'am. No. No. Oh, my God. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to be getting off here. I'm going to call it a night. Thank you guys for the company. Thank you for joining me on this live mukbang. And thank you for staying a little after and chit-chatting. I literally felt that like I was with some... Some friends and family just reunited. You know how when you go and, you know, for a little reunion and you're at a restaurant catching up with friends and family, you have your your dinner and you stay a little longer and chit-chat and catch up. That's what I feel like we kind of did tonight. So, yes, thank you guys so much for uh, the good conversation. I love you guys. Good night. Good night, everybody. Raquel Moreno, Rochelle Hardy, Ariana Bell, Vanessa 2020, Daniel Rosas, hey bro, Heather Cole, what the she's created, Ashley Matson. Thanks for the fun time, Nate. Hugs to everyone. Thank you, love, of course. Milo. All right, guys, I love you. I, I'm not singing tonight, guys. <laughs> Maybe on another one, for sure. Hi, my Angelina Spicy. Because they're spicy. Uh, buenas noches, amor. Love you guys. Bye. Until next time.